people there. And I was, it was so funny because I was talking to a girl um, that's in another company, but we were just sitting there just chatting about teams and different things that you go through. And, um, oh my gosh, I just started laughing because I told her, and you guys here, you get to see kind of my day to day with here, Brittany's not ready and my hair is in a ponytail and it's not normal convention, Brittany, because I am all decked out and make sure I have a few layers of makeup on so it doesn't move. And so, but it's like, here, it's, you can be real. And I think that's super helpful just to show people that, because I've had people tell me, well, I don't get ready every day and I can't do what you do because I don't dress up and I don't do my hair and I don't do my makeup. I'm like, oh, you guys, guess what? I do, what is it called? Um, um, content creation, which is why you have my hair done today is today is my content day. And so that is a non-negotiable. I make sure that there is one day every single week that is planned in that if you were going to work, you're at work from nine to five or whatever your hours are. Like one of my non-negotiables is Thursday at 1.30 to 3.30 is my content. And I have to go in there and I film all my stuff and I make sure that I have different things. So there's a tip for you because I get that quite often. Well, I don't get ready every day. So for me to make a reel every day, like I'm like, no, 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 no. Go and just batch it out. Once I'm in the mode, I can start making a bunch of them or here I'm doing a training. I can sit here and I'll record it. Stuff from all in tour, stuff from convention. I legit have in some of my things, um, I'm just sitting there with my notebook and then I'm reading it and then I'm talking about it or I'll sit here and I'll look down and I'll read it and it's recording and then I'll look up and I'll sit there and talk about it. And if I have to look down or I pause and then we can all, you can cut your video and splice in whatever you want that it's like, here, I took a pause because I'm rethinking my thoughts or oh, what was that again? So it's fine to just take messy action and just go with it. So there's a tip. Okay, so any wins? I'm looking on Facebook. I don't even see, I don't have it up on Facebook yet. So sorry, guys. So I, I got one. And I don't know what that is. Hold on, hold on. Anyone on Zoom want to say hi? Well, why is? Can you hear me? Um, um, I'm like a housewife of, so okay, so it is showing comments. It's just showing it funny on my screen. I don't have my millions of screens today, screens today. So um, I am like a housewife of somewhere. I am up and dressed with minimal makeup every day. That is my, like, that's my life. And I'm like, mm, I want to chop my hair off, but I don't dare because I can start up a ponytail. Um, so I think being real, and I feel like we beat ourselves up quite a bit that it's like, oh, I don't look good. I can't go live or I can't do this. It's like, I think from what I've seen, the people that are more real are people, they're more relatable. Um, uh, Zakaya, I want to say it's Zakita for some reason, but I, it's like not even there. So my brain's just going. It's Zakia. Today, my win was I got from yesterday. Huh? Can you hear it? I'm it or is it just me? Oh, guess Did what? I did. My what happened? sound is off. Oh, okay. Can you can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you. My win was um, I got my first reward from. Mama Frank, because I did my um, I did the um, the fall forward contest. So that was the first contest that I did. So I just got that from the um, from the mailman. So I was opening it up and sorting out. So I am really, I am proud of myself. So I'm like, hey, so. Oh. I got 40, 
my what? 43 pieces, my 43 pieces. I'm like, okay, I, I, I got it. I can do something with this. So I'm sorting it out and I'm, I'm going live after this. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Anyone else have any wins? Um, I did really quick. I was just going to say, since I started using this life of the party goals, uh, that we got at boot camp, um, and bought myself the clicker. The Mr. Go-Getter right here. I have not not met my goals. Matter of fact, I, unfortunately, the last three days, I haven't been on here because my cells were so booming. I'm like, I don't dare stop now for the training. Oh, back and watch the training. But um, this has been amazing. This holds you accountable. This isn't, I am working intentionally. And like, if I look down and I see my number's not where it needs to be, I'll go and throw in a flash sale or I'll go and throw in an album sale or whatever I need to do to make this happen. And it's working. Hey, so Janet, today yeah. is shorter. So I am going to, will you just hurry and talk about what that is for those that don't know what that is? And like, what do you do with the clicker? And what is the sheet? And Will you explain oh, okay. sure, sure, to sure. everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this right here, the life of the party, we got this at boot camp, and I could actually um, put a picture of this in the comments if you want me to, uh, Brett. Um, it just breaks down where do you want to be. Um, this right here tells you where you need to be on your um, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly pieces. If you want to reach bronze, silver, gold, uh, I'm going to be going for platinum um, this year, so I know where I need to be. Um, do have to take into uh, account that we're already a few months in, so figure out where you are at in the game right now, and then you can look at your yearly, subtract that, and then break that out, down into what do I need to sell per month, and then I do divided by four what do I need to sell per week and then I divide that by seven because I sell seven days a week I go live five but I still do album sales on the weekends divide that by seven days come up with a plan and then be intentional this right here I think was eight bucks I can also put the link if you want me to Britt for this um in the comments this was eight bucks on Amazon and um we learned about this too at boot camp it has been a, a goal changer, a mind um, mindset changer for me. It's just like, I really, 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 before it's like, I knew what my goals I needed to be, but in all honesty, I wasn't making sure I was hitting those goals each day. I mean, I was working hard, but I wasn't even knowing what I was selling. I was sell it, throw it in the basket, you know, hope for the best. But now I'm holding myself accountable by this right here and so, how can you not reach your goals if you're you know if you're working towards those goals every day you're going to reach them so now I'm going to go one step further with that is okay so what are what are your goals that you try to sell every single day and do you do that in a five-day thing so you say in five days or are you six days what have you divided that out okay I did it by five because there's new releases five days but I'm actually working seven. So hopefully that gives me a cush. Those extra two days will give me a cush for selling and stuff. But 41 pieces a day is my goal. Okay. So what I'm just really making this super simple. So when you are doing that, you click it every time somebody claims. I'm just saying this. So if somebody new is on here or I refer somebody to this video or AKA you guys refer somebody to this video that you see between this time and this time, this talk about this, this is a training. So I'm, I'm using you as my training. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Every, every time somebody says sold, I will click it. Now, mind you, if somebody cancels an order or whatever, because I do have a calendar in front of me where I write down how many I sold each day and I'll go back if there's something happens or if somebody changes their mind or whatever, I'll go back and adjust my numbers. But yeah, every time somebody and the, the the customers love this. Matter of fact, yesterday we got so busy yesterday, I forgot to click it several times and they were like, push counter, push the button, push the button. 
And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, thank you so much. And so I ended up with 53 yesterday. So I went over my goal yesterday and that, you know, helps push the days that you don't try your best and you don't meet that 41 pieces that I wanted to meet. But I have come close and if not meeting the goals ever since I got this little green machine right here. It's amazing. I know Josetta, you use one too, don't you? Yeah. It's good. It's good. And it just, I don't know. It just changes your mindset when it's you can fabulous. see what you're accomplishing, when you can see the numbers and see that you're actually accomplishing your goals, it gives you a different mindset. And when you don't reach it, you're like, okay, well now what do I have to do to make do it happen? Something. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I've done that and it works. It works. So I am grateful for that. But yeah, I'll put this in the, this is really good right here. I'll put that picture in the comments and the little link to Amazon. And there's different ones. Some, some people wear, I think Sue's on here the other day said she had one that she straps around her thumb. Now, personally, that would drive me nuts. I don't know if I could show the jewelry and have the clicker on my thumb too, but there's different kinds of these. This one's like a tabletop too, so you can just kind of sit in and click. So, um, yeah, okay. it's been good. So I was trying, and again, I have this broken down. I had my girl make this and I can't find where it's at. And so she took it off of my numbers and I don't even know. I think it will confuse you guys. So once she sends me this file, um, I will show you and I'll, I'll hurry and show you this. So then it makes sense. Hold on. Um, live. Where's my zoom? Hold on. Um, total tangent today, you guys, it's, it's good. It's just not. It will make sense. Hold on. Share screen. Okay. So you guys can see me. This is being recorded. Again, I have a better version of this. Um, so I will have that and I will post it in the group because this is how my brain works. And I had somebody put it together on a... Um, a whole spreadsheet and I'm waiting for this to turn to a two so I can find out the two commitments. But I went through everything. So bronze here is, um, that's 5,000 PV. Well, 5,000 divided by 20 PV, you'll get 250 hostesses or hostess rewards, which 250 hostess rewards times $5 when you sell that, you're getting $1,200 in extra free joy that you can make extra. So I had it all broken down on how much extra between the different free pieces or free hostess, um, like you get into, hold on. So you, platinum, platinum, you get double hostess rewards. So not only are you getting, if you're maximizing it as here, I'm making sure that I get one hostess whenever I order for every 20 PV. If you're maximizing and you're doing that in a way you should be getting about $6,200 worth of jewelry just by getting it. But when you get double hostess, you get double that. So technically you're getting $12,000 worth of free jewelry just in hostess rewards throughout the year from hitting platinum and getting all that extra free jewelry. And then all the extra free jewelry that you're getting at convention and the Z pieces and life, the party, you're getting about $14,000 worth of jewelry for free, that that is like a in your pocket of profit that is just sitting there. So when I have people say, well, I've just got a bunch of hostess, you guys, that is a hundred percent profit where we are so lucky to have 45% with those hostess. Those are a hundred percent profit right there. So once she gets that, I will, um, it's broken down and it looks a lot cleaner. This was just my rough draft that I put together and then she made it look really pretty on a graphic. So once she gets that, um, I will 
share that with you guys. Um, okay, so I'm making sure, I can't even see any comments on Facebook. Sorry guys, because I have my small screens right here. Um, is there a download for the goal sheet? So Charmaine, I will make sure, um, I will put in this group so you guys can have it because I had it, she, my Lizzie is an angel and I love her. Um, she broke it down for, I believe, each of the different bronze, everything. And then she had a, a main one overview. So I will just create a folder and I'll put it in this, in the group, um, in the duplication group um, for the 90 day. And then you guys can have that. So, but this is where I wanted you to see the potential of extra stuff that you're getting in your pocket so then it's looking at it because it's like, oh my gosh, if I'm going for bronze versus silver, is that that much of a push for me? Is it not? And if it's just a little bit more of a push and I'm going to be getting double or triple, like in my mind, I'm going to push it. And so that was part of like Eric's thing today is it was um, KPIs because we've been talking about our key, um, key, key point indicators, KPI. So um, with that, number one, I talked about two days ago with core rank. What is the core rank? Number two, I will go as fast as possible. So you, if you have to rewatch this, you can rewatch this. I'm sorry, I will go super fast just so we can be done by new releases because I get in trouble by not playing by the rules and having my squirrel moments. Um, number two is the Robbie talked about yesterday, the 10 recruits. So do you have 10 people in your team that are wanting to work the business. Um, go back and watch that if not. And then today, number three was how many of people of your team are attending events? So is that, and that is in-person events. So it doesn't, as far as a in-person event, meaning they're not sleeping in their bed. So they have to go somewhere else to not sleep in their bed. So is it doing the all-in tour? Is it doing passport? Is it doing EMP? Is it doing um, convention? Is it doing the all-in tour where they have to go somewhere? And if it's more than a day, it's it, there's different indicators as far as like here, if somebody is going and traveling, they are more vested and they're more likely to have, you're still going to have these aha moments. But the more that you get together, one, you, but then two, you get your team to get out and to go to events. They are going to stay in the business longer. They're going to be more vested. And Eric said, statistically within um, our line of business, again, there are different indicators that it can be higher and lower if all the people are on one leg or not. But he said, statistically, your team members that you get to go to a event that is not just a virtual event, um, statistically overall, you will make around thousand dollars on that person in a um in a lifetime and so it's like okay if i knew i had to get 10 people to an event and i would most likely within a year with that person i would average about ten thousand dollars or more that's a different way of looking at it sorry squirrel moment um that's a different way of looking at it as far as like oh Okay, well, I want to get 20. I want to get 30. And okay, I want to get my 10 to get one person there. Because then you just doubled it. They just got 20. And then Eric kind of talked about different ways of how to get people to events. And he said that he's going to go more into that tomorrow and the next day. No, tomorrow and next week. Because today's Thursday. My days are gone, guys. Um, but it's getting on the phone and talking to people. Well, my inbox is going nuts I'm getting all the images right now so I'll put them in a folder and I'll make a separate post but um the thing that to look at is if I was to um if I was to call Janet and just say Janet guess what will you please go to um this all-in tour I am going to be there in Atlanta I would love to see you I would love to give you a hug and I was talking to my mom and she's going to be there and she just would love to, I was telling her all about you. And she just said that like, she thinks that you are just so awesome because I think you're absolutely amazing. And so she would love to meet you and give you a hug. How would that make you feel if you got that call from me? 
Or if Janet calls her team and she says the same thing, oh my gosh, I've got this upline. They're going to be teaching there. And I know that they are just going to love me because they're amazing. Doing those things, or it's like, hey, I don't have time for that. As you're talking to them, you are um, going through their limiting beliefs. Well, I just, I don't have the money. Well, guess what? I don't have the money either. Let's just be irresponsible and go together and just have a girls weekend. I know that you have kids or I know that you have a lot going on. And realistically, I really need like to get away and just laugh or let's just go and just sunbake and just go and just do this. And let's just get away from life for a couple of days. I know you need it. I need it. Like, let's have some fun. Or it's just kind of going through those things. And so if someone's talking to you, it's like, okay, where I just did the same thing. I had somebody that um, my dear friend, um, Vicki and Taylor Lee, if you guys don't know them, the Bairds, it's the Taylor Lee. She was like, hey, you guys, Brittany, we're going to the Pink concert. Like, you should just come up and um, get a ticket and come with us. And I was like, no. I've been gone. I will be gone from my kids for two weeks. I can't do it. And she's like, get your daughter. Come on. We really, like, it would be so fun for, like, you should really go. Well, she took the time. She made me feel important. And so because of that, I went and booked the tickets. So was that in my realm of thinking things through? No. Did my husband love me for making him stay with the kids? absolutely so much but you guys like if you really want something you can make it work and so I think that's where it's like well my team said no well if you send out a post or you do a mass message no they're not going to want to go but when you feel important you're going to make it work and so that's something that's like oh you don't have okay what can we do let's get you a clicker where there's clickers my mom bought like 20 of them for five bucks she got um, Janet had the cool one. It looked like it had a mount on it or something where hers is like this super cheap one. Hey, guess what? It's going to be this much. Like I let's do a challenge together. I'm going to try and sell an extra 10 pieces. Can you do 10 pieces this week? Like let's work this together because when it's like, Oh, Brittany, it's easy for you to sell this many. Cause it, no, I'm going to do this additional and I'm going to do this together. Cause this is going to push me and I'm not going to do something that I'm not asking you to do that I'm not willing so it's doing some of that so they taught that's what Eric talked about is like here getting your people to events where one it makes them stay in the business longer two it makes them more of that foundation person three it gets them excited and more of a um more vested and it's just helps you grow so any questions in the whole 60 seconds that have left Nothing. Okay. I have like 15 messages that were popping up. So I will go and get those together. Um, as far as, and with my sheets again, um, let me see what she, uh, hold on. I'm going to share this for, with you guys so you can see, so I can explain this because I want to say one of them was, um, one was for 10 months that we made because paparazzi changed it. So I was going off of back at the beginning, but I'll just do the, actually, I'm just going to do the 12 months. Okay. Brittany squirrel moments, because this is my life. Hold on, zoom, share. And then I'm still going to post these in there. Um, da, da, da. it's not giving me the share screen. It's because it didn't like that. Um, share. Okay. You see all of my Okay, right here. Do you guys see that? Okay, so this is easier broken down than it is. Here's the total potential. It was, and I had it really, so I will put my sheet in there so you can see where it's, okay, what are 2,500 um, pieces? Whoa. 
there we go. Um, and then we broke it down by here. You need to buy at least 5,000. That's what it is. 5,000 pieces is 2,500 pieces to, when you divide it. Um, Cause you know, PV is two of every one piece. So in a month of 12 months, you need to sell slash buy 415, 418, I really can read, which is 209. And then um, a week, so we have it broken down with this as far as empire. And then it has the potential, like with all the free stuff and everything, almost $500,000 empire. That's ridiculous. So I will get these sheets in there. Does that make sense how we have it? Requirement of here's the PV and the pieces. Here's the month of how many pieces you need to do in a month. This is how many pieces in a, in a four week. I went off of a five day because I like to have that cushion and Sunday is my day of being with my family. And then hostess rewards, you should get about um, in a year, 250 hostess rewards and then free commitment. So we have it broken down with the different things. So I will post this in the group. We've got three minutes. Sorry for the tangent, but it's because I love you all. And I don't know how to get out of this. I will be more prepared tomorrow with a better screen setup. So I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here and hope you found value out of this. And um, we're here if you need anything. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you. I'll post a link to this one as well. Thank I like you, your, I like your breakdown better though. So we'll keep yours and I'll post a link to this. <laughs> I have dear I it's it's changed up like five times because great. Okay. okay. I love you guys. See you later. Bye.